Capricorn couples, hello and welcome to your bi-monthly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. Hope all is well with you guys. I don't want to, you know, give a super lengthy introduction. I'll just let you know this. Listen to this with an open mind because there may be parts of this that do not resonate with you and parts that do. And what does not, discard it. Please do not force fit the reading. Understand that things unfold at different times for different people and the outcome may not be the case for everyone involved. Now that I've made that clear, or everyone listening, I should say. Now that I've made that clear, let's get right into the reading. If you'd like to book a personal, of course, you can go to angelicascensionstarot.com. Let's get into this. I'm excited for you guys, Capricorn. So let's take a look. I feel like Capricorn. Oh, and happy birthday, guys. I feel like this is a time of harvest. I feel like you're about to reap the harvest for all of your hard work. But don't squander that, is what Spirit is saying. Save some for a rainy day, okay? While you have that coming in, because I do see some unexpected income coming in. Now, when it comes to love, I do see issues here, conflict, conflict. You're not seeing eye to eye on things, <coughs> mm. but you know, with manifestation, I feel like some of you may feel um, a bit nervous about manifesting what it is that you want in your life. Some of you could be doing, maybe trying spell work, learning spell work. Maybe that's the case, or maybe you're an experienced practitioner, but you don't trust your magic. You don't trust your ability to make things happen right now for some reason. Maybe something kind of knocked you off of your confidence. Um, your your confidence um, situation. Okay, I can't think of the right word <laughs> right now. But I do feel like this it's necessary for you to trust your intuition. You may not be hearing things clearly or trusting the signs and synchronicities that spirit is giving you. I do feel like there could be a career change or you could be honing in some type of gift, um, especially when it comes to some type of psychic ability. Um, some of you could be going into some type of spirituality. Um, so you could be becoming tarot card readers. I'm also seeing specifically the art of scrying. Some of you might be into looking into crystal balls. Otherwise, this is like you seeing things from a different perspective, a different vantage point. I'm seeing water signs here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Some of you could definitely be on the Aquarius, Capricorn, guys. Okay. I'm seeing a need to listen to your body. And I'm also seeing an end to a difficult situation. Now, if this had to do with finances, this is finally coming in to an end. And I'm seeing you being able to breathe a sigh of relief regarding this. Get ready for change, though. Uh, because I feel like these changes are going to come very quickly and very abruptly, but don't allow that to instill fear in you. Go for it. This is like good and positive change. Expect things to get better now. And then I'm seeing some people could be recovering from an addiction. I'm seeing you completing your goals finally. Yeah, but definitely there's conflict with other people in your life. Don't hold back when it comes to your dreams. This is the time to give birth to those ideas. And this is a good time to nurture yourself as well. Um, I'm seeing a relationship growing closer. I'm seeing that there's going to be a need to weigh your decisions and take care of your health. There is someone here that you absolutely love. This could be someone that you have a child with. I do see a family type of situation. I do see some of you are moving. And I do see that you may be coming to a, um, you may be finding a place of compassion when it comes to you and your partner. Because right now I'm feeling like the two of you, though you are a couple, I feel like it's time to take a break from this relationship. Or maybe, yeah, in order to gain a new perspective, I feel like you need some time away to think. You need some space. 
So I feel like you might be taking space from your partner right now. Or this could even be in general. It could even be from work. Maybe you just feel like... I'm sorry. Maybe you just feel like there's you need a change in scenery. You need some time to relax, to rest your head, to rest, rest your brain, because I'm seeing your, man, your mind moving a mile a minute. Some of you are unhappy and maybe a bit bored with your job, maybe even with your partner right now. You just don't want to have anything to do with it because you don't want that closeness right now. I definitely see Gemini here. Okay, well, the reason being is because maybe you're really focused right now. Of course, Capricorn, that's like a typical trait for Capricorn. Uh, tunnel visioned. When it comes to a goal, Capricorn will get it done. And this isn't to, you know, diminish any other of the zodiac signs. Um, so there's many signs that do that, right? But Capricorn, that's very, um, you know, a, a very good generali generalization for Capricorn. Right, very loyal, very hardworking. But I feel like, yeah, this is what your focus is right now. Taking a break from your partner, stepping away from a situation where there's been conflict, and kind of doing your own thing. Right, focusing on your job, your work. There could have been a time though when when you know work was not steady, maybe not productive. Um, or maybe this is you saying, you know what, I don't know if I really want to put in the work on this relationship right now. Right, but I do see you getting a lot of attention. Um, some of you could be in the public eye for the work that you do. Um, I'm even seeing raise or promotion. Especially some of you are going into business for yourself. Very positive direction that this moves in. I'm seeing um, new contracts. Some of you could definitely be moving, like I said, a new location. And you could be signing a new lease, a new contract. Okay. Uh, but I definitely see the beloved, okay, someone that means a lot to you. Um, this isn't just some fly-by-night person. You might feel like this person is the one for you right now. Not really right now, but it's like deep down inside you feel that. But right now, uh, you might not be feeling them very, you know, feeling them at all. Some of you are procrastinating, taking your sweet time, going in a new direction, okay, with something. Some of you are dealing with court decisions or you're dealing with someone that has to make a decision, okay? You might be feeling taken advantage of. You might be feeling like your partner does not appreciate you as much as you would, you know, prefer. I'm seeing stress. You have a lot on you, a lot on your mind burdens but I feel like this is more mental than anything uh, you might be feeling like this relationship at time is a burden some of you could be feeling overworked overloaded some of you might even be feeling like you're doing everything by yourself carrying the load financially or otherwise same confusion coming to an end okay or, or but I'm also seeing you waiting for something okay maybe that's you waiting for the harvest like I said in the beginning, and I'm saying it paying off, okay? The finances could have definitely been down. Don't worry, I see it picking up. I see you recouping just fine. Okay. But on the other flip side of this, I see a relationship where there's been disharmony, okay? Likely due to infidelity. Someone cheated on you. Maybe that's why you feel like you need to take a break. This could have been past tense. It could be present tense. Let's clarify a few things here. There's definitely love here between you and this person. The things that have become very complicated. Okay. Well, somebody's pregnant. Some of you could be finding out about a pregnancy, Capricorn, and congratulations. You could be hearing this could be news of pregnancy. Possibly a Leo. Okay. But right now, because of what you found out, 
I don't know how old this infidelity is, whether it's new or it's old, but either way, it's, it's having a really big impact on this relationship, on this connection. Yeah, I see that there is a child here. Hmm, somebody could have cheated and gotten someone pregnant. Because I do see infidelity and I do see a child. Okay. Some of you are not sure that you want to continue to work on it. You don't feel like you have the strength to, to work this out. You know this is the one for you. You know this is your soulmate, the one that you were meant to be with. And you're like, how much of this can I continue to take? How much of this can I bear? got an earth sign possibly someone with earth and water combination in their chart yeah you don't want to take a risk going back into this situation you don't feel like things are going anywhere at all so you're kind of keeping your feelings to yourself and finding fulfillment you know on your own right now like you're saying I want to put this soulmate relationship on the back burner I'm not willing to take a risk to continue on the way that things have been going. And I'm just going to do my own thing is what I'm hearing and seeing here. Yeah, Three of Swords. I feel like someone likes attention here. Someone who's really attention seeking. Let's see. There's obviously three people in this equation. Yeah. And three is a crowd, and I'm seeing things falling apart. Okay, you could have found that your partner was texting someone, messaging someone online. Okay, it could be an earth sign. That could have been how you found out what you found out about. Yeah, so there's no way, you're feeling right now, there's no way we can heal this. Right, it's gonna take a, a while, you're saying to yourself, it's gonna take a while for me to get over this, that type of thing. Well, whatever it was, it obviously led to, to a pretty heated exchange between the two of you, right? But I don't feel like this is the first time for some of you that this has happened or that, that you've argued about this before. So you've withdrawn from this person because you don't feel appreciated. You feel undervalued. You feel like they don't see your worth. Okay, but but you already know what your worth is. What I'm saying, Capricorn, you know your worth. You don't doubt it. But you're saying, you know what? I come with standards. So yeah, you're taking a break from a situation that has just become burdensome. A situation that you feel like is is just drowning you and you just refuse to be drowned. You refuse to be a part of a third party, right? Because you you saw a really bright future with this person once upon a time. Now if there's an earth sign, I do see this earth sign coming toward you to try to smooth this over. Some of you are definitely into some type of spirituality, some type of esoteric, okay, witchcraft. And I'm not saying that, you know, all witchcraft is not dark witchcraft. Some of you are psychics. I'm telling you. Maybe you're having visions. I'm not sure what that's about, but that's going to resonate with someone. Well, in the outcome, you had the Ace of Wands. So, mm, this could go either two ways. This could go two ways here. We're going to take a look at the energy of the cross watcher, and I'll be able to pick it up more to see what's really going on. But with the Ace of Wands, I'll be able to break it down, you know, dissect it to see what the two storylines are about. But right now, like I said, I get two. It could be that you are just at your limit when it comes to this situation. Like you're beyond fed up with this person and the situation. This could mean that you begin again, that the two of you can get past this and you get closer. Cause I'm seeing compassion. I'm seeing family harmony. I see a strong potential, potential for you guys to work it out. But I'm also seeing that some of you are saying, you know what, this is 
I can't do this anymore. I'm at the point of no return, leaving and starting fresh. Okay, let's see. But for right now, I see a separation. Who knows how long this separation will go along for, but yeah, I see someone returning, so I do see things beginning again. Potential for things to begin again for you guys. Let's see. What is this card here for? Yeah, you don't know if you want to work this out for now. Right now, you don't know. Someone was definitely keeping their options open and they have regret about keeping you waiting. So I'm saying someone is really taking their sweet time coming toward you to try to fix this. Or like I said, this is you saying, you know what, I need my time right now because of the way that you've hurt me, the way that you've disappointed me. I need my time. And I may return, that type of thing. needs to step in I see someone waiting and then I see someone saying you're running out of time you need to hurry up and make a decision you need to hurry up and handle your responsibilities I'm just saying time is of the essence when it comes to something yeah you have your regrets about trusting this person okay you even could have even been something that had taken place on the job could have been something that happened within your family but I do see rising above your problems, facing your challenges and being strong through all of this. Capricorn, I feel like the two of you may overcome this. Again, strong earth and air energy here. I'm saying your luck will soon change, but this is good. This is good. This is more so talking about your finances and your occupation, but also your love life. Follow your intuition. If your gut is telling you that something's wrong, yeah, you want to heed that intuition. I definitely see love between the two of you. But I'm saying that something is going to take courage. Either this is you taking courage to let this person back in or them building up the courage to fix this or to at least attempt to fix it because it's not like you can press a button and everything's okay. This is like intense right here. The trust is gone. The trust has been lost between you and this person. You're like wondering, they want to know how they can bridge the gap. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on with your career. And then we'll take a look at cross watchers. With career, I'm saying maybe you guys are moving to a new location. I'm seeing the need to detox your friendships. Be careful who you trust. Uh, who did I get this for? I think I got this for Virgo. And some of you could definitely be dealing with a Virgo. Like I said, strong earth energy and air. Um, watch out who your friends are. Watch out who you trust. Don't be paranoid, but just listen to your intuition when it comes to people. Especially people that you confide in. Someone doesn't want you to be happy in this situation, but it's like, ugh, there's so much going on here. I'm seeing some of you doing charity work, maybe tithing, giving donations. You could even be on the receiving end of some type of um, donation because I do see unexpected income coming in for you. I'm seeing the power of prayer will see you through a situation that will give you that peace of mind. I'm seeing that, that someone feels the need to compete in the relationship. There's a third party, like I said. And someone feels like they, they have to, you know, compete for someone's attention is what I'm seeing. Spirit says that there's no need to compete. Whatever is yours is yours. This could even be with work, right? You could be in a very competitive market. Spirit is saying that you don't have to compete, right? What your talent speaks for itself. Your abilities speak for themselves. I see raise or promotion because of some type of the, the work that you do. Um, but I'm seeing um, cooperative partnerships. I'm seeing that that really does 
help. Okay, you can accomplish anything with cooperative partnerships, even like within a relationship. And that may be the place that you reach, right? Realizing that it's all about cooperation and leaving a third party out, cutting them out completely. Once again, I'm seeing a need to save, save your money. So we're all, we're talking about your financial sector right now. Um, I'm also saying speak words of abundance, speak abundance in your life. Don't speak lack, even if lack is what you see, right? That's not, you're saying that's not your focus right now, right? Your words are very powerful. They're powerful beyond measure. Spirit, what else do you have for Capricorn? Capricorn. <sighs> Employment change. That could definitely have something to do with this new location. Okay, with this employment change, it's going to force you to focus on your priorities. Not that it has to be forced, but um, the, the, the circumstances are changing so that, you know, that's become your focus. Like I said, some of you are focused on building a business, building an empire. And whatever obstacles were there, I'm seeing those blocks being lifted. I'm seeing razor promotion coming in for you. But Spirit is saying that it's not enough to just dream or pray about something. If there's something that you want to go for, you got to do the work. I'm seeing, like I said, a harvest of abundance coming in because you're pursuing that. You're in the pursuit of what it is that you desire. The Spirit says it's safe for you to receive. Open up your hands and your, your, your heart and be ready for God to give you those blessings because I do see them coming in, right? And be grateful. Count your blessings. And I'm even seeing God giving you message, Spirit giving you messages as you sleep, different ideas. Um, be sure to record those in a journal, okay? Because they're going to be very useful for you. Um, for you to be able to manifest your dreams into a reality. But you got to be able to believe it. Okay, You might know this on a surface level, but deep down inside, it's going to take that deep knowing and going after it to manifest these things. Spirit says you deserve good things. You are a beloved child of God, it says. It says like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus on your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. And that's why these blessings are being poured into your life. Capricorn. So with work, I see a lot of options here for you. You're not limited. Like I said, a time of, you know, finances where things were not that great, fear of the unknown, not being able to see your way out of a situation, but a new contract coming in, a message about money, a message about a job. But in the meantime, I'm seeing maybe a break within um, employment, but you leaving a situation that was just burdensome. Right, where you felt overworked. I do see a child. Some of you could be giving birth. Okay, or like I said, birth announcement, baby shower. Kind of withdrawing, keeping to yourself at work because of, because of the gossip, because of the competition. You need to receive a message for sure about money that involves razor promotion or more notoriety, more attention. You're going to be getting attention for the good work that you do. Something, maybe some issues with car, okay, could have something to do with finances. Transportation could be an issue temporarily, but I'm seeing that turning around for you. You got to have the courage to go for it because I'm saying going for whatever this is with your career brings in finances, brings in abundance for you. You have some type of creative knack, some type of special ability, okay, especially on a spiritual level. Some of you are becoming some type of spiritual practitioner, spiritual healer. Um, or like I said, you might have some type of psychic ability. Let's see. Energy of the cross watcher. Okay. Beginning to see things for what they really are, Cap, or this is you, your cross watcher. Seeing the reality of a situation. Oh, someone could be going to court. There could even be issues here with someone being put in jail. Someone could be doing jail time, but this could definitely have something to do with just mental imprisonment, right? I said your mind is going a mile a minute. So you could be just be feeling stuck and imprisoned in your mind, or someone here is. There's a miracle coming in. 
unexpected. Cross watchers at an impasse. So someone here is having to make a decision. There's been deception involved in this situation. But I see a partner, possibly a water sign, or someone with water in their chart coming to smooth things over. It doesn't have to be a water sign. Some of you are going to stay together because you find out that, that you know, you're pregnant. You guys are going to find a way to make it work. Someone is making a decision maybe about a pregnancy, whether to keep a pregnancy or not. See, it's like you're going back into it. I do see that the two of you work this out. You have the potential. You have what it takes to work it out. But I see someone going back into this situation with a lot of paranoia. I see someone that is very wounded. Cross watcher. You're still holding on. You're still willing to give it a try. But you're, you're kind of nervous, like I said, about giving into this. right? But it, it shows here that, that, that someone here is open to rebuilding. But deep down inside, they just doubt that you may ever change, okay? Especially when someone has issues here with ego, alcoholism. Um, someone here could even be verbally abusive. I'm also hearing financially abusive. The crosswatcher could be feeling stuck in some way. Someone is watching you guys from a distance. I'm seeing someone watching someone from social media. Someone could be watching a third party on social media. Or like I said, someone could be in the public eye. Yeah. I see you guys recommitting. Um, again, securing a loan for a house, signing a contract for a home. But there's been some funny business and you already know what's up. The light is being shed on it. See, someone tried to cover it up, but the light is here. It's been revealed. There could be a Sagittarius in the picture. Gemini as well. Virgo. Libra. I don't think it's not Libra, but we're going to go with Libra. Because that's what came to mind. They still think that you have player tendencies. They have a hard time trusting you. See, someone here is definitely selfish. It's like someone is patiently waiting for the other one to change, cross watcher. But you're still willing to work on it for the sake of your family, but at the same time, wanting to block it. Standing your ground, saying, you know what, if you do this again, I'm gone. But I feel like for the meantime, you're there to work on it. You're, you're there to, to, to give it a try. Take a look. Let me go ahead and go over these real quick. See, it's because it's, it's you definitely have these emotional ties to your partner. There's definitely a soulmate connection here. Something that's, that's not the easiest to walk away from. You've known this person for a very long time. They mean a lot to you. And I feel like some of you Capricorns are not willing to let this third par party situation blow the two of you apart. But I feel like you do need some time to... You know, take take inventory of the situation. Okay, so your partner, could, it could be you cross watch or someone here is not working. So, this, yeah, so someone feels like they've taken on the financial burden. But if that's the case, I do see someone, your partner could be finding a job. There could be news about a job coming in and that brings in financial security for the two of you. Some of you could be going to court maybe to find out DNA results or paying out child support. Yeah, but see, someone temporarily didn't see a future here because there's severe trust issues. And maybe the cross watcher, maybe you stopped talking to your partner for a while, but I see that you're coming back, right? Things fell apart for a moment. And maybe for a moment you didn't feel like there was you were going to get a second chance. Some of you feel like whoever is on the, the giving end of the, the heartbreak, the three of swords, maybe you didn't feel like you were going to get a second chance. 
And if it's you that was on the receiving end of those three swords and you feel like questioning whether or not you want to give this a second chance, but I do see you lifting that and giving giving in and, and letting and seeing where that goes. Some of you are definitely moving into becoming entrepreneurs. See, they see you as someone that's undependable. They see that you're someone that they can't depend on at times. So, yeah, they're really grappling back and forth between a decision, but I feel like the two of you are able to work it out because I do see an offer coming your way. And I feel like there's an offer here that's accepted. An offer here that begin, you know, starts a new beginning. And I feel like someone here finally does decide to settle down. They realize that they can't continue their player ways. They have a family to think of. Yeah, I see Scorpio here for you guys as well. Aries, Leo, Virgo, okay, let's pull an advice card, Capricorn, couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, second half of January 2019, Peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. All right. I feel like I said, I, I see you guys getting to a place of peace, but not without remembering who you are. It says you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Remember who you are. Capricorn, don't get lost in all of the drama that life can bring sometimes. I do see a time of peace, being able to rest your mind, and I'm seeing problems being resolved for you, or finding a way to resolve issues in your life. And this isn't to say that you didn't have, you weren't equipped with that before, but sometimes our minds just become so inundated, we kind of forget. But I feel like there's an, here's an opportunity to learn a lesson. I feel like lesson learned at the end of the day. Someone realizes that they can't go around being deceptive and playing around. Someone realizes it's time to settle down and be serious. And be about their business and be a family. So Capricorn, this concludes your bi-monthly reading. Once again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can head over to angelicascensionstarot.com. The link will always be below in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and thumbs up these videos. Thumbs this up if it, if it helps you in any way, okay? I wish you guys nothing but the best, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye for now.